if you don't remember what happened in a previous life, what's the point of reincarnation? Recycling depends on your mythology. For example, you could imagine that your true self spends some time between lives. Completely aware of everything they've ever experienced in many lives. This would help them decide what kind of life to try next. The karmic religions posit that your life is a reward or punishment for how your last life went. So specific knowledge wouldn't be needed. You just figure out from context that you must have been a real asshole and that's why you were born without feet. It's imaginary. So they sky is the limit. Cool stories for books. The concept of realignment. If reincarnation is real we have a deja vu reaction to things we've done. Places we've been to. Etc. In our old lives. Example being if you spent a lot of time in Greece in a previous life. Then you'd feel familiar with it when visiting it in a new life. It assume for enrichment of the soul. While I'm not religious. I believe the point is to try life again and not make the same mistakes that you did in the prior life. No. People don't die and come back the same day. That's too soon. This life is depressing enough and hard. We'll like to carry the burdens of previous ones too. Because you remember all your lives as you exist between them. When you die, your eternal existence wakes up. Instantly remembering the life you left and all the previous lives you lived. To your existence it will seem like very little time has passed. It is also at that moment that you remember the reason you chose the life you had. As each life experience is a choice. And yes. External spirits do choose to experience awful events for the growth it provides. As they know when they leave that, soon. They will return to the eternal existence they just left. Between your lives you many want to take a break and spend time with your eternal friends, too. Discuss your spiritual growth. Or ponder your next life. It is common for close eternal spirits to be reborn in experiences that will bring them together. During their lifetimes. Other eternal spirits immediately seek to be reborn. Life experiences are quite exciting and even addicting. And many want to go right back to another life again. Keep in mind that the choice is not just that of earth or even human. An eternal spirit may pick any life form on any world that exists in the universe. I picked this lifetime because I wanted to experience the end of modern civilization on earth. That might sound demented. But keep in mind that 8 billion other spirits chose this life for that reason as well. Including you. But your mortal spirit has not yet reached enough experience or enlightenment to know of your eternal existence while in mortal form. Don't worry it will come. Oh. And the whole end of world thing is very popular with us. It makes for great stories when we return to the external existence. It helps people be more comfortable with the thought of death. The void of eternal nothingness beyond death can be frightening. Shush. You aren't supposed to think these after lives through logically. It breaks the illusion. The second coming. Imagine every year of school is an incarnation. You learn and experience new things and states of consciousness each lifetime. Eternal damnation on earth. Accepting that your true self is no self. Rising above the endless cycle of material acquisition. To start anew. To begin a new journey and to forget the troubles of the past and realize new troubles of the new. According to Hinduism. Karma plays key role in where. How or to whom you are born. Even the pet you adopt. Has some karmic relation with you. If we are wired to remember everything about our past lives and events happened with all these human animals, we would become an absolute mess. We won't be able to move on and live our current lives. 
the point is not feeling bad about the people who were born with less luck than you. Since they deserved it for being shitty in their previous life. You previously lived a good life. Therefore you deserve to be born in your wealthy family. And that's why you don't have to bother with fairness or equality or some kind of social justice. Bullshit. It works the other way too. No need to try for a revolution if you're born poor. Be quiet and endure this life. And maybe you'll be rewarded with a better birth next time. This life is hell. You're constricted to repeat your mistakes again and again till you find the truth and finally go to heaven.